From having the looks of a Greek god to being a role model for Tom freaking Cruise, here's why Henry Cavill is the hottest superhero ever. There's no denying that Henry Cavill is one good-looking guy, and to prove that, he was also voted as 2022's most handsome man in the world. He beat Stray Kids star Hunjin, Timothy Chalamet, and Chris Hemsworth to that title, so you can see how serious the competition was. His twinkling eyes, that 100-watt smile, and those muscles are all there to prove time and again that Henry is a 100% heartthrob and the hottest superhero ever. Even James Gunn agrees, otherwise he wouldn't have picked a Henry lookalike for the next Superman. And don't even get me started on Cavill's The Witcher look, because if there's anyone who could pull off those silver locks, and that super muscular bod made to kill enemies and pleasure ladies, it's my man Henry. Liam Hemsworth could never, which is why it's very hard to believe that Henry wasn't born with all that beef and actually was a very low-key guy before he became Superman. He was hot for sure, just go watch the Tudors and you'll know. But after being cast as one of the world's most iconic superheroes, he got to work to build his body to fill out that blue suit to perfection. And let me tell you, his workout routine was tough. Starting with a diet of supplements and a ton of calories, he got into bodybuilding like no one's business. It's like he forgot that he was human, and not really Superman, and people had to remind him of that, because he was working way too hard to look like a superhero. For me, even that dedication is hot, and proves that Henry was the most deserving candidate for that red cape. To train for the role, he lifted weights as if he was trying to lift the world's burden on his massive shoulders, and blasted himself as if he was trying to blast his body out into space. He legit turned himself from a lean 140-pound guy to a 190-pound icon with only 5-7% to of body fat in suited scenes, and just 3-4% to of body fat in shirtless ones. I know, you guys aren't the only ones fanning yourself right now. Anyway. Once the movie was released, Henry's backbreaking workout paid off because he was being called the hottest Superman of all time. Before this, people used to criticize superhero costumes to accentuate muscles, even if the actors didn't have any. But Henry's shirtless scenes in Man of Steel proved that he was not messing around, and that earned him the title of being the lustiest Superman to ever exist. Fans went crazy over his transformation, and now Henry Cavill's Superman workout is a challenge the fitness community is still trying to ace. But hey, Cavill isn't all muscle and no mass, and even though he looks great, he's also got the heart of Superman. I'll be honest, Henry wasn't an A-lister before Man of Steel came out, so people didn't know him as well as, let's say, Chris Evans or RDJ. So when the film was released, questions started popping up. Is the guy who plays Superman a jerk in real life? I don't blame fans. Henry is a British actor after all. But all it took was one interview to prove that no, this guy is so down to earth and kind that he could be Superman in real life. His chin dimple sure helps, but even if you mask that in a ton of prosthetics, Henry would still be the kind, sweet, and polite guy who can win you over with a smile. Part of the reason is because he grew up in a very normal household and wasn't a production of Hollywood from the beginning. He went to boarding school, was also bullied for being a chubby kid, and dreamt of making it big one day with his acting chops. Only, when the time came and he met Patrick Stewart at an audition, he got so badly tongue-tied that he couldn't even say his lines out loud. That almost got him out of acting, but I'm glad it didn't because that would have been a loss bigger than DC's current run at the box office. And it's not just me saying it. Fans are in on it, and are frequently found talking about why Henry is such a treat to look at. There was a dude on Reddit who said he found the actor extremely handsome and almost unreal to look at. He asked, why is that? And I get his confusion because we've got more good-looking guys in the industry, so what's all the hoo-ha surrounding Henry? No one had a very clear answer to that because, to be fair, no one knows why everyone's so attracted to Henry, even when he looks drunk. Is he a Ken doll from Barbie Land who has figured out what his identity is and is now living his best life in the real world? Or is he really the son of Krypton? Because that kind of perfection is very hard to find in humans. And don't even get his fans to get started on his accent. Because of all this, Henry's fans claim that even though there are a lot of handsome men in Hollywood, they feel nothing looking at them. But one look at Henry, and it's like they're falling in love at first sight all over again. To prove why, they also made a list of all the hottest Henry Cavill moments. And the first one to make the cut was his training video for Man of Steel, where he's working out his glutes like a man on a mission. 
Then there are all those steamy scenes of him in the Tudor that got him the title of practically everyone's sexual awakening long before he became their favorite superhero as well. It also helps that the man has an American Akita for a pet, who he's named Cal. Looking at them together, it's hard to stop yourself from wishing that you were there with them, if only just to witness how happy Henry looks when he's with his pet. There was also that time when at the peak of Marvel and DC's rivalry, he put a post up wishing all his fellow superheroes from the Avengers and Justice League a happy superhero day. Don't mind me as I turn into a ball of mush, guys, because that is the single most cutest thing I've ever seen an actor do. Then, of course, there are all his steamy scenes from The Witcher, or even the ones where he's pulling people's heads off their bodies, proving that Henry can make anything look good. People are also huge fans of his looks and performance in The Man from U.N.C.L.E., which is a movie that proved that he can also be a great James Bond. But on the one hand, there are a ton of fans always talking about Henry's hottest moments. Some people have called them out to stop objectifying Henry for his body. And they're not wrong, because even though Henry's a walking, talking proof of how perfect a man can be, it's wrong to objectify him for his looks alone. Even Henry finds it super awkward when people praise him for his body or looks and says that even though he loves every part of his acting career, the one thing he finds super uncomfortable to do is scenes. That's because, in those, he's not only fully exposed in a room full of people, but they're also not very fun to film. He says sexy is the very last thing he'd call them, and even if they look great on screen, they're not at all what he'd call his favorite part of acting. Part of the reason is also that Henry has to work super hard to make his body look good when he's about to film a scene like that. In The Witcher, he had to go without water for days so his body could look lean and muscular without any water weight hiding them. So when he's objectified for looking hot and sexy, it takes away from the fact that he's starving himself to look like that. So instead of praising him for his unreal looks only, we should also praise him for his talent to make a fight scene look like art. Like that time he pumped his muscles so well, Tom Cruise became a fan. It was from a scene in Mission Impossible, Fallout, where he pumps his muscles in a way that it looks like he's reloading a gun. And let me just say, it impressed Tom so much, he says he watched that scene on repeat when they were editing the film. Cruise commented on how crazy he thought it was that Henry Cavill could pull that off and said he wishes he could have muscles like that or could even grow a beard like Henry's. I have to say, if Hollywood's biggest action hero praises you for a fight scene, you've made it to the top. And that goes for Henry too, who, by the way, says he felt super self-conscious when he was praised for that scene, which just goes to show that he's not only hot in looks, but also has a heart of gold, making him the best superhero there is. So, from being a role model for Tom freaking Cruise, to having the looks of a Greek god, that's why Henry Cavill is the hottest superhero ever.